I was 26 years old, got a divorce, and had a three-year-old son, and I ran away from God. I was upset with him and a lot of other people. I went out one night, got drunk as a skunk, and I woke up in someone else's bed besides my own. I ended up being pregnant and out of fear, shame and guilt, and just afraid, I chose to have the abortion. Whenever um, I moved to Dothan, I went down to save a life, which is now Wiregrass Hope Group, and I was gonna make up for my sin that I had committed against the Lord. And I was gonna work out my salvation. And you don't do that. It's only by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ is your sin washed away. And on one of the nights that I was in my counseling session, I looked at my counselor and I said, you have no idea how I feel. Because if I had taken my child's life at six weeks old, I would have gone to prison. But because I took my child's life at six weeks in my uterus, I walked around free. I walked around physically free, but I wasn't mentally or emotionally free. And she looked at me and she said, Jeannie, I do understand because you see, I've had an abortion. And at that moment, I saw grace, love, mercy, compassion. I saw forgiveness and I saw joy and I saw hope. And I thought, God, if you did it for her, you can do it for me also. I was accepted, I was not turned away. And it's because of the love and the support of the women here and men that I was able to heal and I was able to receive love because I couldn't love myself because of what I had done. The fear that God was going to punish me, that I would lose my son somehow. I could not stand for him to go out, to be out of my sight. And even as he got older, it became worse on me. And even when he would go out the door, I would just start praying, God, please don't take my child away from me. Please don't let nothing happen to me. And that is just fear. And that's something that you, it's an anxiety. I wasn't able to let, to be loved, to even let anybody love me because I didn't deserve to be loved. Some of my relationships were bad, but that's because I didn't think I deserved anything good. You know, I, walked around trying to punish myself for what I did instead of receiving forgiveness. And I even thought that my son would be better off without his mother. I can remember when he was little and he come around the corner. He goes, Mom, I wish I had a brother or a sister. And I knew deep down inside of me that he did, but I couldn't tell him. But God since then has shown grace and mercy on me. My son knows and he even went before me when I revealed my truth to my grandchildren. And they have loved me. You know, his mercy and love, it goes on. And that's what we give, even to the women who come here. We give them grace, we give them mercy, we give them love, we give them acceptance, encouragement, you know. And I just want God to be glorified in the midst of everything because 2,000 years ago, when Jesus was on that cross, he knew what Jeannie was going to do. And he still went to the cross for me. And that is the most unconditional love I've ever received in my life. And so the Lord has took what Satan meant to destroy me and turned it around to be glorified in the midst that I can tell the girls who do come into Wiregrass who are seeking an abortion tell them the truth and tell them that's not the answer. And I believe that God has truly used me here at the Wiregrass Hope Group to put the truth in front of the young girls. And even men who come in with these girls to tell them what it does and to let them know that he wants to be their husband, he wants to be their friend, he wants to be the father, he wants to be everything. And he gets the glory of knowing that there is life and you tell the truth. And then for you women who had abortions, who have not for truly, truly forgiven yourself, God does forgive.